What's up guys, welcome back to virtual reality. As you perhaps know, I've been at the GDC some time ago and I had the chance to try the tactical haptics controllers. These are the very big controllers and they are really awesome because you can really feel what you are doing because the, the, the grips are moving. This is very strange but very cool. Yeah, I recorded myself while playing. Unfortunately, there are not any gameplay scenes that I um, could record, but I will show you some material of the developer that they sent me, so perhaps you have an imagination of that, what happened there. So yeah, we will talk about this later, what my feelings were. So my name is Voodoo and you can find hardware test news, gameplays and events on my channel VR and AR related, so subscribe, hit the bell and don't miss anything. Now let's have some fun with the tactical haptics controller. And let's go. Voodoo.de <laughs> Pull your hands out just a little bit more and then uh, release the triggers when you're a little bit wider. And now re-grab and push towards the center. Wow, yeah. It feels I like that compression, that. right? Wow. <laughs> nice. You pull out wide eventually get wide enough it'll snap because it'll oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 a new one forms there if you target and then grab by pulling, grab pulling the trigger you can move that around now and what you'll find is the little blocks are lighter and easier to move than the big blocks oh yay <laughs> wow <laughs> so cool yeah Another thing you can notice is that when you pick up a block, join the controllers together in this kind of gamepad configuration. So if you bring them together, you can see those little discs. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you have, it's just a two-handed version of that. So maybe you have a user interface that's a two-handed loading dock yeah. thing. I want to move cargo around. Same physics, just experience through two hands now. Yeah, that's nice. So, oh yeah. Like this. Dan, grab hold. <laughs> you kind of feel the stretch and tension yes. of the bow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, can you just give you a little baseline? Nice, yeah. Okay. Next, I would grab the uh, right. This time we're going to go back to the gun pose, remember? There you go. And so you'll need to uh, load a shell by doing that twist motion again. Swing the, the, the rally flag, or foosball. Foosball, yeah. yeah. Um, like this? Oh. Uh, you know how like they'll have, I've uh, seen it, they have a flag that you can swing over your head like a cowboy, we'll say? There you go, you can get the feeling of the inertia swinging you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can feel the impact. Yeah. One of the other interesting things is you see, uh, if you just take the ball and you rest it on the one of the blocks on the ground, Bob, you start off by just tapping him a little bit. Just tap his body, his arms, just to kind of get a sense that he kind of feels solid. This is, what does it feel like, This Dave? is magic. <laughs> wow. I mean, oh, that was that <laughs> And once you go in, give it a little bit of a twist. So stab. Yeah. Just a quick move. Wow. So it feels like you're a little engaged in the flesh. Oh, yes. You can kind of feel the friction. Yeah. Actually, yeah. as you go from the light blue to the brown, or to the, to the gray, you can feel a change in friction as you move left to right. 
that's the right. Yeah, that's right. And then there's these gratings that are just forward of that, the red and the texture. Oh yes, I can feel it. That there's wow. <laughs> It, it really feels like there's exactly what I see here. What are you seeing? So uh, if you just pull the trigger and move, oh yes, it will paint a little bit like a tilt brush. Oh, it feels like I have a, a something in my hand to draw that, like a pen or. It should feel like there's a little bit of a drag. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So what's cool is, not only can you paint, but then you can go back in and reshape it. So I'm gonna give you the reshape tool. You reach in and grab hold. Oh yeah, oh it feels like I, I'm pulling that actually, yeah. And pushing. Does it feel solid? Does it feel like a rubber band or elastic? Uh, it feels definitely elastic, yeah. Yeah. Yeah guys, that was, uh the tactical haptics controller and <laughs> that that feels it's it's un unbelievable there are only these two plates here that are moving there's nothing else but it feels so cool if you the, the most impressive thing was the bow and arrow if you pull it and let it go it it feels like you are really pulling something and li like this here you see that and it's it's so great but however this thing looks something uh, from a from a hardware store <laughs> but it's a vr controller actually very cool however this is perhaps for now nothing for us gamers at home because it's meant for uh, entertainment for arcades or stuff and and it's only available uh, for as a dev kit so if you write them on the on the home page um, you will get a price that's uh, over 1000 buck uh, for a pair that's of course too expensive for a gamer but very interesting for developers that will integrate it in some VR arcade uh, um, software very cool but I hope later they will um, have a version for gamers as well that's cheaper perhaps without these magnets or, uh, or some other stuff that's missing then so that it can be cheaper. It will available for the Vive Tracker, the Oculus Touch controllers, the Vive controllers, and I think they already told me that uh, it will be available with the Windows Mixed Reality controller later. This is so cool. I did never expect that this feels so good. As you perhaps know, I was on the CES in Las Vegas, and there I tried this fold away joystick where you only have this feeling with your thumb that was also very cool but this year is even more impressive um, because it it feels so so realistic with the weight and and stuff nice work i really hope that a lot of developers will adopt these controllers and that we will have it in in the future um, at home the, available at home so that would be cool yeah that was the Tactical Haptics Controllers. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know more about uh, the Tactical Haptics, I will put the link for them under this video. So if you have an arcade or are a dev developer and want to integrate it, yeah, then just go to the homepage and check it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time in Virtual Reality, guys. See ya! Voodoo